left, though. The Florida Department of Health is now reporting more than 14,000 confirmed cases. That includes two positive cases within the Manatee County School District. One is connected to Lakewood Ranch High School. Now, because of privacy laws, the district is not allowed to say if it was a staff or student. Now, as for the other case, it's still not clear what school that person is connected to. The health department says 283 people have died in Florida. The latest death in our area is a 46-year-old woman in Hernando County. She is the first person killed by the virus in that county. Governor DeSantis says those numbers are why the state is adding more test sites. So far, the state has completed 140,000 tests, and some hospitals already have those rapid tests that can confirm results in five minutes. More specifically, Advent Health will be using the 45-minute tests here in Tampa. Now, the governor is also pushing for the state to get more access to hydroxychloroquine. That's a drug previously used to treat malaria. Now, President Trump has touted this as a miracle treatment, but there's conflicting evidence about whether it can actually treat COVID-19. The governor also announced some new efforts to help the tens of thousands of people that are trying to apply for unemployment benefits in the state. If you've been trying, you know it is frustrating. He says FedEx is now going to print and ship the paper copies of the applications for you for free. The state also brought in 250 people to answer the reemployment call line yesterday and plans on adding some more coming up in the future.